legit lovely welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are doing episode 12 of custom sim saturday as you guys know i actually had to reset the form for custom sim saturday and make a new form because the original got deleted in my google drive so i've been linking the new form uh in the description of every video ever since the form the original form got deleted so if you guys would like to request a sim that link is in the description of this video and all of my other videos so for this request, the person that requested requested a sim in The Sims 3. That was female. Um, for physical features, they wanted lightly tan colored skin, naturally skinny with a little bit of curves, unique colored eyes, small lips, and curly hair. Um, the clothing style, they wanted casual with a little edge to it. Uh, they wanted the sim to enjoy wearing boots and have some accessories with her outfits. For any other specific details, they wanted dimples, a birthmark on her face, tattoos, and some cra crazy highlights in her hair. So, I was able to do this. Um, I was lucky that the base sim that I used actually had kind of the body type that the requester wanted. So, I just built off of that. The unique color eyes, I went with a very, very light blue. And you guys see that I matched the screenshot background with the light blue to her eyes. So, I feel like that really made her eyes pop. Small lips, I tried my best, um, and the curly hair, I tried to make it wavy and curly, um, just so the highlights would look good. A lot of the curly hairs, um, and the ethnic hairs that I have, if you do highlights and not just one base color for the hair, it tends to look a little weird, so I went with, like, a wavy curly hair. Um, for the casual outfit, I tried to stick with black and grays. I feel like it added the little edge, but at the same time, she's wearing sweatpants and a crop top, so it was casual. Uh, the boots, I found a cute, cute pair of boots in my CC that I ended up using. For accessories, I made her have, I believe, a choker and earrings. Uh, and then she has some nails. Uh, the dimples was super easy. I have these pair of dimples that I use in my CC collection all the time. Birthmark, it was actually a vitiligo birthmark, but I lightened it up a little bit and put it on her face. And it actually looked really good with the dimples. I feel like the color scheme blended very well. Tattoos. I don't have as many accessory tattoos in my game as I once did. So what I did was I used the hand tattoo accessory that I used for a Custom Sim Saturday a couple episodes ago. Um, and did that. And then for the crazy highlights, I went with like a pinkish highlight with like a brown base. I really, really like how the Sim came out. I feel like the more detail you guys give me, the better the Sims come out. So if you do want to request a Sim, try to include as much detail as you can because... I can use all the details that you want and then use my creativity with it and the sims usually, usually turn out very good. So as you guys know, because this is a Sims 3 creative sim, the link to the Sims 3 pack and my slider tutorial will be in the description below. The sim will not look the same or work without my slider, so please be sure that you watch my slider tutorial and download my slider folder. A lot of you guys have been saying that when you download my slider folder, your sim is missing eyelashes. Um, there's a file in my CC folder or my slider folder called s club ea eyelash removal just remove that file i had that in my slider folder because it allows me to use the s club eyelashes without having ea lashes so if you're having that issue just remove that out of your folder but yeah i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video if you do be sure to like comment and subscribe check me out on all my social medias that are as always conveniently linked in the description below uh if you aren't ready my discord we're 100 plus members strong now and i'm so happy so the link is on the screen right now in the description of all my videos my graphic design commissions are open as always. Some of my work is on the screen right now. My portfolio is linked in the description. And if you'd like to purchase anything, DM me on Twitter or Instagram at LegitLovely. And last but not least, if you aren't already using my Fortnite supporter creator code in the item shop, it is just legit lovely. Doing so really does help me out and I greatly appreciate it. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you on my next video. Bye everyone. <laughs>